yes, I've been wanting to do this for a while. And I thought, look, I'm not working this morning, so today's the day I'm going to start. I want to go through the history of basically Irish League football teams. Sort of similar to what like uh, Sam North does in Scotland. Love Sam. He knows a lot. He loves me. So I want to come and do it here. And the first place I have to do is Corian. It's Corian's three and a half miles away from where I live. And we start the video off at a place called Anderson's Park in Corian. And it's adjacent to the docks or the former docks in Corian. Now, what's significant about this is that this is the birthplace of football in Ireland. I kid you not, in the 1860s, it was uh, like sailors and all that came over from Scotland, and while they were waiting for you know cargo to be loaded onto ships or taken off ships and all that, there they started playing football in a place here, which is now known as Anderson Park. It was Brook Green then, and this is where the idea came for football. People saw them playing, they were like, "What's this here?" So, I'm where the docks were in Cory, and there's still some docks left. Um, I'll show us a video of that in a minute. But this is where it was here. Where Dunn Stores is. Now, there's always connections, so there is in Cory and between people. And I've got crazy connection. My granddad worked in the docks. He worked in the docks here in Cory, and he was a boxer. And he actually got his, his leg or something crushed when he was working in the docks, and that ended his career. Uh, inbox, but I worked in Duns there behind whenever I was a youngster, so like I've actually worked in the same sort of land where my granddad worked. So, a wee bit of uh, Corian Football Club history here. I'm at the River Ban. Corian are the band siders, that is directly where their name comes from. So that's a short, short history lesson on how football came to this island. It came from Scotland. So that's a wee connection with Sam North. He lives in Scotland. <laughs> right, so on to the good stuff here. Corian Football Club. I see you shortly. Why am I at an Orange Hall, you might ask? Well, this here is the Orange Hall where the first talk about Corian FC being formed was born. 1927, local townsmen got together to discuss a senior football team in Corian. And this is where it happened. And there was representatives from the IFA, Glentoran and Ards who all came to the meeting. And they discussed a merger of two teams in Korean, Korean Olympic and Korean Alexandra. Um, the two local teams were quite successful at uh, sort of junior intermediate level, but the dream was for a Korean team to play in the Irish League. So at the meeting at the Orange Hall, they discussed the two teams amalgamate and they discussed the sort of um, who the committee would be. They discussed the colours. Um, of the kits. I've got a wee book here, it tells me everything, it's great. So they read the rules and regulations and they decided the club colours would be white with the Korean crest and they, were, they even decided how much it would cost to get into the grounds to cover like you know costs and stuff you know how, how much so it was 10 shillings into the ground and 15 shillings into the stand. Anyway before the club was officially formed they went somewhere else So, following the initial discussions at the Orange Hall and agreeing and everything, they then took it to the town and they gathered in the town hall, it's behind me, and they, they told the town what they wanted to do. And the formal motion was put to them and it was met with unanimous approval and applause. And then Corium were born.
Corian's first game in senior football in 1927 was a league game against Cliftonville. Cliftonville, the oldest team in Ireland, coming to Corian, who were the newest team at the time. And Corian shocked everyone by beating Cliftonville 4 1 in their first competitive game. The shocks were to keep on coming at Corian. Belfast Celtic came to town and they were beat by Corian. Three goals to two. This was Belfast Celtic's first defeat in over 70 league matches. Corian were here, they were new and they meant business. Although the ground has changed so much over the years, it's always been in the same place. Another significant thing that happened in the first season in senior football was they had their biggest ever attendance at the Corian showgrounds. 9,000 people came to watch Corian against Belfast Celtic in a cup match. On that occasion, Belfast Celtic would be victorious. In 1931, after going for four years, Corian won their first senior trophy. They won the Gold Cup, making them only the second team outside Belfast to win it, the other team being Shelburne. In the final, they beat Balamina, hey, <laughs> 3 0 10,000 people gathered at Solitude to witness this occasion. We fast forward now to 1948. Corian got to their first ever Irish Cup final where they met Linfield. Corian were beat 3 0. However, it turned out that Linfield played an ineligible player, and that meant that Corian were entitled to claim the Irish Cup for the first time for themselves. However, Corian declined. Corian says if you don't win it on the pitch, then you don't deserve to win it. So they turned down their first opportunity to win the Irish Cup in 1948. Corian had to wait to 1965 then to win their first Irish Cup, and they did so by beating Glenavon 2-1 at Windsor Park. We're going to fast forward now to 1974. Anybody who supports Corian knows that 1974 is the year. Corian won the Gibson Cup in 1974. It's their one and only time they've won the Irish League. The team will go down in history and have already gone down in history as the greatest. Now, it just so happens that being here in Korean Football Club today, I bumped into somebody. Where do you see this here? I'm in the Korean showgrounds here and I've came across this man. What is your name? Desi Dixon. Desi. Explain to people on the video who you are. Well, I'm, I'm a foot, I used to be a footballer for Korean. And why why should people know who you were? Well, I scored a lot of goals for Korean. Desi, playing for Korean, what was your biggest achievement? In the full international team. Well, we won every trophy that we played in. Then we won the Blacks in the twice. Certainly did. Right. And we won all the other trophies in the Scotland and Irish League over a period of years. To me, Desi, the, the most significant thing, and this is before my lifetime, was that you are one of the members of a league winning team for Korean. They own you, your, your royalty. You know, do, do you realise what an achievement that was? I thought it was a good achievement then. We were young men. We didn't really look at it then. We just looked at one of the things, one of the leagues. We only won the one right you now. And what do you think of the future, Desi? Do you think, do you think it's going to happen again? Do you think Korean can win another league? Well, of course they can. They had a lot of young men playing for them, they're leaving there, so they go on it, they're fixing up the ground and every other thing. They're putting me and Tommy Dog out of the coffee shop. <laughs> they're the, you're a Korean legend, you know that. Well, I hear people saying that, but I never look at myself as a legend. You certainly are. Thank you, Desi. So, when we talk about 1974 and Korean won the league, we have to talk about Bertie Peacock. Bertie Peacock has a statue in his name in Korean, that is the level where he's at. He has a statue. Again, it's windy here, so hopefully the sound is okay. Bertie Peacock is a legend. He's done it all. You could do a video on him. Um, maybe I will do a video on him. Bertie Peacock was the manager of the team. The team that won the Irish League. Um, look, again, I could do another video on Korea winning the league, but we're not going to. We're going to fast forward again to the present day. This is a Korean football club. The facilities are better than they've ever been at this place. The crowds are coming back in again. The team on the pitch is playing with pride and passion. This is a short history of Korean. It's a brief history, 
We could do a big in-depth history, but it would take days. So it would, um, if this video is any good, like, share, subscribe. If you know anything the history of Korean Football Club, put it in the comments. I want to do Cliftonville next, because Cliftonville are the oldest club in Ireland. I also want to do Linfield because they're the most successful club in Ireland. Why do all the clubs? We'll do it one at a time. This is Korean.